Make way for the double champ. The following is a fatal four-way tag team match. Introducing first from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, The Rock. Imagine all the hard work, the training, and the perseverance it takes to win a title in WWE. Now double it, and you can see the magnitude of this man's accomplishment. In WWE, the only thing more difficult than becoming champion is staying champion. And his journey was twice as hard, but the work from here is double too. But if anyone is up to the challenge, it's this guy. The double champ showing off all of his hardware. Arrogance and confidence on the double champ's face, but he's obviously earned it. Guess what, folks? It's time to acknowledge the Tribal Chief. And representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, Weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns! When you see a superstar like Roman Reigns, you see a man who seems practically untouchable. Exactly, Saxton, like a god, an immortal. He's achieved things that most only dream of. Just piles of championships. Made the long climb up the mountain and shoved everybody else off of it. The tribal chief of the bloodline showing off all of his hard-earned gold. And if you're hoping to take either of those titles, good luck. The Beast is here. Time for a beatdown, cowboy style. Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, Brock Lesnar! When you look at Brock Lesnar, you, you honestly got to feel that Lesnar is more beast than man. Now, Lesnar is undoubtedly the next step in human evolution. He has unbelievable physical gifts, does the beast. Brock Lesnar's won multiple WWE and Universal title reigns. King of the Ring, the Royal Rumble, and Money in the Bank. And perhaps the most dominant competitor in WWE history. Lesnar's crushed countless champions and legends throughout his storied WWE career. I got a real strong feeling we're going to see more of that dominance courtesy of the Beast Incarnate. The Viper is here. And from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the hardcore champion, the Viper, Randy Orton. You would be hard pressed to find a more sadistic superstar than Randy Orton. This is a superstar who will do whatever it takes 
to win. Hey, listen, he's called the Apex Predator because he has this undeniable killer instinct. And the results? Well, they speak for themselves. Yeah, simple advice. Don't cross the Viper. One of the all-time greats has seen and done everything there is to do in this business. Career decorated with championship goals. But despite that success, you could also say Randy Orton has carried himself as a very entitled and selfish superstar. Or you can look at the reality that Randy Orton worked hard and earned every bit of it. but he's also really freaking good. And he has the titles and main events to prove it. their mouth quite as much as Seth freaking Rollins. Yeah, but nobody delivers on their promises like he does either. world and is now ready to prove himself again in the WWE. to WWE. You're right about that, Saxton. A true WrestleMania moment, if there ever was one. Cody Rhodes is a superstar who possesses an in-ring IQ second to none. Well, Cody Rhodes has certainly learned from the best, and Rhodes has become even better in his time away from WWE but is better good enough these days. The WWE Universe just exploded! And from India, weighing in at 348 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, the Great Carey! A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. He said he wants to be the most dominant champ in history, so he will not let up in a non-title situation.
standing at seven feet tall, weighing in at 500 pounds. You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. A competitor who always has his game face on, ready for a major battle. Multiple teams facing off in this tornado tag match. In a tornado tag situation, you never know how many opponents will target you. The only one on your side is the tag team. And a well-executed move we just saw there. Oh! No disqualifications has to benefit a certain type of superstar more than others, doesn't it, Corey? Get off your high horse, Cole. And no disqualifications match benefits the superstar who's smarter, faster, and better. Using the rules to your advantage doesn't make you defend here. He's got it. This is right for
next one. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Oh, man. Good grief. Turn your lights out.
And here's another look at what made that match so special. Here are your winners, Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes. Seth Rollins helps launch his team to success. Well designed by the architect. You put in the work and good things happen. That's a performance that everybody should hope to emulate.